Are you struggling with disciplining your toddler without resorting to yelling or hitting? Do you have a problem with your toddler listening to you? If so, you should watch this video in the upcoming series of videos. I will share and guide you through the art of peaceful parenting and gentle disciplining. I honestly believe that consistency has been the number one key to me getting my children to listen to me without having to yell or keep telling them something over and, and over again. You have to follow through with whatever you tell your child. For instance, if the rule is no screen time before homework, consistency means to stick to the rule every day. If you want to train your child to listen to you without having to keep repeating yourself, you're going to have to stick to whatever rule that you have at your house, no matter how upset your child gets. Stick to the schedule that you have set for your household. And if you haven't been consistent with your child, once you start trying to be consistent with the rules that you have, of course, they're not going to like it and they are going to try you just to see if they can get their way. But I want to encourage you to be consistent and don't give up. And most importantly, have patience. Positive changes take time. Following through is crucial. It's about keeping promises and consequences. When consequences or rewards are consistently implemented, children learn the importance of accountability and understand that actions have outcomes. If you are at a store and your child wants a toy or maybe a piece of candy and you say no, if your child falls out on the floor and starts screaming and crying, don't give in. If you do, your child is going to believe that negative behavior will produce a positive outcome. On the other hand, if you are in a store and your child sees something that they want and you say no, but your child doesn't have a fit, praise your child. You can say, I'm proud of you. I'm going to do something special for you today. And that will encourage your child to want to repeat that positive behavior. Now, I want to talk about the benefits of being consistent and following through. It builds trust, fosters a sense of responsibility, and encourages positive behavior. Question for today, are you consistent with your child? If not, what is stopping you from being consistent? Thank you for joining as we explore the significance of consistency. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't watched my previous videos in this series, make sure you go back and watch them. Until next time, stay consistent, reliable, and guiding your little ones with love and understanding. Thank you again. Bye.